what I'm talking about. Come on, mix it up. I'm really glad to see everyone here. Um, okay, I got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news is my tech manager couldn't make it and he had a presentation on this, which has been really cool to watch. But the good news is I'm here and I brought a bunch of photographs. You guys see the photographs, everyone? See? So what I'm going to talk about a little bit now is what I'm known for is bring a little bit of the scientific aspect and bring it together with the more of the metaphysical aspect. We have one talking about ghosts, and one thing I've noticed over the years of being in this industry, there's been a little bit of torment between the two sides, the scientific side versus the, the more metaphysical side, you know? They can coexist together. I've seen groups break up and fight about ridiculous things. Because we're talking about, we're talking about electricity, you're talking about charged ions, we're talking about spirits. It can happen. There is scientific formulas for it. People have been discussing this for hundreds of years. Einstein even talked about it back in his day. Uh, Robert Bloomquist, a Harvard professor, had theories on it all the way up to the 60s about charged ions and axons. So let's keep that in mind. So what I want to talk about right now, can you guys hear me out there? Yep. All right, fantastic. <laughs> what I want to talk about now is a little bit of the haunting aspect. We do, we do know that there are residual hauntings, energies that are drawn to a place, a person, a thing, it happens. I've seen a matchbox car that was haunted. How do we know? Because this car would move on its own for no reason. It took hours for it to move, but hey, it was doing it, right? You can't tell me there's a mouse inside driving this matchbox car, right? So. Things can be haunted. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Have you guys seen on eBay, and this is totally ridiculous, okay? I'm gonna go right there. They're making containment dolls for spirits. Have you guys seen that yet? Is this crazy? They're making uh, porcelain containment dolls so you can get a spirit and put it in this doll, and it comes with its own EVP. Isn't that nice? I mean, I would rather see the spirit go on to the next level of what it has to do instead of spending its time in a porcelain doll on someone's shelf. I mean, how sad is that? So let's try to stay away from that stuff. Not a good idea. Um, taking things home from my locations is also not a good idea. Okay? Have you guys heard the story about, oh, I went to this place and it had like these rocks and I grabbed the rock and I took it with me and I had bad luck. So I took the rock back and also my luck went away. You guys heard that story? Well, let me tell you another story. There's this guy, and 